Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a, another banana rack that we're going to be cutting down and bringing in. Just, uh, what, two weeks since the last one. So even though it's winter, it's, uh, it's um, uh, what do you call it, peak season for banana harvesting in uh, Melbourne. So even though it's uh, winter and it's very, very windy and uh, coolish, I wouldn't say cold, it's currently 17 Celsius. So we're in the 60s Fahrenheit. So we can do this. <laughs> we sure can. So how do I know the banana is ready to be uh, harvested? Well, you look for clues, and the biggest clue of all is this. See the color, the yellow? That's the clue right there. As soon as one or more, you only need one. Banana goes yellow, that's it, it's time to come down. You don't have to, this is optional. The other clue is on the same banana. It's the, uh, the split, see how it's split? That split is a sign that uh, the banana is ready. Not ready to eat, but ready to harvest. And the reason why it's split is because, uh, well, I left it too long. But the thing is, in the cooler climate, where I am, too long uh, gets confusing. Too long because it's winter, it's cold. But in the tropics, uh, this banana would have been fully yellow all the way down before this crack would have occurred right because even in winter there it's it's warm not here so as you can see it's a beautiful little rack not too big but cute so let's get started by uh bringing this cute guy down So basically, it's as easy as using the machete. Yeah, it's pretty windy. It's been like that all day. It's as easy as using the machete right there, or there, or back there, anywhere along there, and holding on to the, to the rack here, at the bottom. See that? Holding onto it. It's better to have two people always, right? But this sometimes will snap as it comes down. Not a big deal. We're not too high off the ground. I'm using a, a little baby ladder. See that ladder? So, let's, let's do this. And there it is. Chop. So there it is guys, homegrown bananas in Melbourne over winter. Make sure to share this video with all your friends in the temperate climate zones. Seeing is believing. So now that the, the mother plant is spent, we're going to cut it down. We're going to cut this one down, not the other ones. We have to wait for them to, to flower. Windy, windy, windy. So winter in Melbourne is not only cool, it's also very windy and very cloudy. Cloudy, windy, cool, etc. Now you know why we get away when we can in winter. So yeah, I'm going to cut this uh, stem down and feed it to uh, whoever wants it, whoever needs it. And that's just about every other banana, right? They love going back to their daughters and granddaughters, just like over there. See that? That's not, that looks like a mess, but that's past bananas that I've um, mulched. 
for the for the daughters guys free mulch I've covered this before but just in case you're new to this channel welcome and enjoy so now we're gonna take these bananas and uh, give them a wash before we bring them inside So same as always, give it a good rinse on both sides, inside and throughout. So whilst we wait for this to dry, we're going to go and finish off that uh, banana stem, right? So we can use it as mulch. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, I got my shirt off. I was hot. So, even on a cool day, guys, after 10 minutes work, 10 minutes anything, outside, right, you get, uh, you get hot. So, there's the, uh, the stem. Cut it with a machete. And there's the, um, the mother, she's done her job. She only gets one chance to uh, birth, unlike human mothers. Once only, and then goodbye. And then the um, other mums, there's many mums here. There, there were four mums, and there's one daughter. You can do it in any arrangement you like, or configuration. Here too, there's four mums and two daughters. See that? and so on and so forth and it's that easy see that that took me all up about 15 minutes another amazing harvest of white sapotis from the front check it out and some some of the last pineapple guavas and a few tamarillos wow So what I'm going to do next is cut off the, the hands, right, and put them in there so I can bring them in the house. So this is how you cut it, underneath and on top, with very sharp, I use kitchen scissors, you can use whatever you like to cut through. There's a special knife to do this, but I don't have it. But I've been using this technique for many years and it works fine. Alright guys, there it is. A whole bowl of um, Melbourne grown organic bananas. Harvested in winter. Once again, please share this far and wide with all um, those who need to see it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you from the next video, guys. And please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Also like if you enjoy these videos so I can make more. And also improve my uh, game. And also suggestions are welcome. If you wish me to uh, film anything here from my existing um, fruit trees. See you from the next video. Bye, guys.